Usually the photographs are presented with a text story. And, but you know, a lot of what I do, a lot of my process is listening. So, and listening with these headphones, um, kind of after an interview. And um, that's kind of, that's a big part of my process. So the idea for creating um, or using sound stories instead of text uh, was to kind of be able to convey the intimacy that I feel, you know, with, a, with when interviewing someone and listening to them afterwards um, and trying to bring that to the viewer. So this is the combat paper project that um, is about repurposing uniforms, cutting them up and making them into paper. We are we are formed by what it is we're wearing. And this, this just helps us to make our mind go the other way around so we can form what we're wearing into something we want. Hello, would you be interested in making a crane or a journal or a bookmark out of combat paper? Oh, you did, no, you're doing fine actually, I did that. So now you're gonna... When you take a life and you try to make a story out of it, it's a mess. And memories are fugitive and they change. And, you know, when you tell a story one year, it's different the next year. But something remains of the truth. And I would call that emotional memory. You know, at, at some point I realized that I couldn't cling to the document. I couldn't find the actual di diary pages precious. The book is text with comic sequences which I hope kind of give another point of view on the story. I began to kind of question this notion of like private and public self and, and looking at myself as, as, as if I was, um, no one else was there to kind of witness it. And I wanted to push the boundaries of what was comfortable for me. And, you know, look, dealing with my weight, dealing with my body and, and creating a language that I can use with the camera that I couldn't use out into the world. There's so many complex layers to the cardboard project that I do, and so finding that box stayed with me throughout the two weeks I was here. Um, it's been in the studio and definitely proved the inspiration for the composition you see behind me. Um, I, though, could not let go of this box. Uh, the box of bell peppers is coming home with me to inspire whatever else I can come up with when I'm back in Los Angeles, uh, with eyes towards another project I'll be doing here in the spring. Uh, at the Institute of Humanities, or for the humanities.